Okay, so there have been a few of these videos where people have been looking at um, unboxing a number of um, different multimeters, multifunction test meters. I've just had one delivered today, um, which is the Dialog uh, 9118. So I'm going to unbox it now. I'll let you guys have a look at it while I do it. And um, let's get down to it. So this one I ordered from Test Meter. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, yeah, this one's come through with um, the meter itself. And also uh, I ordered a 50 meter R2 Wonder lead with it as well at the same time. Uh, it actually came as a free gift with uh, with test meter which is uh, which is a real bonus so um, yeah have a look check those guys out um, one of the reasons why I ordered this test meter as well uh, I went for the 9118 because I was having some issues with um, mega I was trying to get hold of of the new tester the 1741 plus so that seems to have a, a, an extraordinarily long lead time at the moment. And for whatever reason, I can't seem to get too many updates on why, uh, the reasons why this is taking so long. Um, I couldn't get an update on test meter of when they could deliver it. I think initially I was told it was gonna be a two to three week delivery. It's now been over six weeks. So I decided, well, okay, I'm gonna get a different test meter. And the 9118 <clears throat> looked like a good, uh, a good substitute. And probably what I'll do is I'll use the 9118 as, <clears throat> as my um, second backup test meter. So I'll have um, the 9118 second backup. And then when once Mega have got, the, got their act together and are able to get hold of uh, the parts that they need um, to start shipping them, I'll use the, the mega uh, test meter as my main test meter. But anyway, let's get down to unboxing this one. But first of all, um, if you guys have had any experiences or experienced some delays with getting hold of this mega um, 1741 plus or any of the mega products recently, um, because I've heard they've had issues with not just the 1741 plus, but also with the megas. Um, so yeah, maybe just put something in the comments and uh, let me know if you've had, um, you had similar issues with it as well. Anyway, let's get down to this. So this is just like straight out of the box. It got delivered to me this morning. That's all the bubble wrap that kind of comes out of the way. And this is wedged in here with the R2 lead, but this is the, the dialogue box itself. Um, heavier than quite, heavier than I was expecting actually. The handle and everything feels quite robust. I'm just gonna drop this down here. I'll move this box out of the way in a second. I'll just get the, this must be the R2 lead. So we'll have a look at that and move this box out of the way. So I'll bring this up. Hopefully you guys can see this. This is the box for the, the DL9118. Uh, um, and we'll get into um, to opening it up now. This, this one comes with the remote test probe as well, um, which should be a bonus, you know, when you're, when you're up at um, a pendant using it there. I'll try and slide this off and then um, we'll have a look inside. Hopefully it'll slide off easy. Let's see. Quite easy. So, yeah, nice robust handle. Another little clip on the side there just to open it up. Yeah, this looks, looks pretty good. I mean, I saw I saw some other unboxings of these. Um, one unboxing of uh, the nine one one zero, I think it was by Dialog, um, and some other comments that. Uh, the box did itself didn't look very robust, but this does look quite robust. I quite quite like the feel of it. It feels like a a solid enough um, enough box that you could you now put in your van, put in the back of the car without any major issues. Uh, strap for 
for the unit, for the test meter itself. Come back there. What so we got? We've got a 1.6 amp fuse here for the unit. And on the top of the box as well, we've got um, six Duracell uh, AA batteries. Again, for the test meter. We've also got the uh, plug top connection. You see everything's still wrapped because literally this is brand new. Um, test leads, um, three probes, red, black, green. And the same with, uh, same with the crocodile crypt clips there. Um, so maybe I'll just take these out. Everybody's, uh, everybody's seen these before. So these are the standard um, four mil, four millimeter test leads that you can you can get your hands on from from any kind of uh, wholesaler without any issues. So uh, if you have any problems with your leads, it'll be fairly easy to get hold of some replacement ones. And this is the push button test lead. So we'll give all these. I give all these a go. In fact, what I'll uh, what I plan to do in the future is I'll I'll look at maybe doing some more um, some more videos. This is the first one I've done actually. You probably tell from the quality of it. Um, but yeah, I'll run through some videos in the future. Probably looking at the test sequences for BS seven six seven one. Um, I use the nine one one eight meter, uh, and yeah, we'll we'll see how that goes and um, see how good it is. That's a nice little, nice little tray, similar to flutes, I guess, as well. And this is the, oh, hold on before I pull the unit out. Some, oh, some documentation down the back of here, just says documents enclosed on the front. So I assume it's the manual and, yep. And also a certificate of calibration which you'd expect to get with a, with a new multimeter so the calibration date on this one uh, is the 29th of the 3rd 2021 so this is kind of it's kind of a little bit annoying because it's already it's already lost um, almost three months now because I'm, I'm unboxing this in June um, June the 19th so yeah, it's almost already lost um, three months of calibration. So that's a little bit annoying, but um, again, I, I don't know if you have um, you have similar issues with um, with other test meters as well. I imagine you will. What else is in here? Oh, and there's also an extended warranty and service plan to, to run with it. And yeah, there's the uh, multifunction uh, operating instructions. So I have a look at all that later. Get the meter out. It's held nicely in a um, foam packed um, container here. In the box at the bottom there, it's got a nice little um, bit of foam around the edges here just to um, just to protect it. So this is it. I'll bring it up a little bit closer. I'm not quite sure what the video is going to be showing might have to do this twice but let's see um, so the unit itself feels a reasonably good weight it's, it feels substantially you know robust it doesn't feel um, cheap quality or anything it feels like it's a, a quality uh, quality instrument um, so I'm looking forward uh, looking forward to getting a little bit more use out of this now a little bit of use out of it and like I said earlier, I'll um, put some videos together uh, with myself using this uh, this test instrument, and I'll run through the sequence of tests for the BS seven six seven one using this. So we'll see how it goes. Um, let me know if you guys are interested in in seeing that. Hopefully you are. I mean, this this dialog um, is a good price. Look on any of the the websites. Um, you'll find 
it's a it's a very good price this for for the functionality you get with it um, so yeah check it up against the rest and i'll give you some uh, some updates on uh, future videos also what i'm thinking about doing is putting a few videos together of how to get set up in an electrical business um, just right from grassroots you know what, what you need um, putting an excel spreadsheet together of what tools you're going to need from a costing point of view um, what accreditation you need um, who to look at from a, uh, a point of view of whether you want to choose NAPIT or NICEIC um, so there's going to be potentially a few videos to come up but let me know what you'd like to see first whether you'd like to see something on me using the 9118 with um, BS7671's test sequences or whether you would prefer to see um, a few videos looking at um, you know how to get an electrical business set up and you know what potential costs you might incur for that and what I'll also do is if you are interested in that I'll share my Excel spreadsheet with you that I put together so it's got a um, it's got a lot of costs on there for yeah, everything you're really going to encounter pretty much any, everything you're going to encounter anyway I think I've got a fairly comprehensive list there so if you're interested in that also let me know okay thanks a lot and thanks for listening and um, yeah subscribe to the first one and hopefully there'll be more to come okay thank you